recording from Mr. Frank William to you all. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all the time God is good to you and God is good to you and I. Our God is a great God. He's mighty. He's strong in battle from Mr. Friends. We are living in the end time, brothers and sisters. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. We need to be grateful. The top of my message is even coming to you this evening, brothers and sisters. Trust in God in our generation on YouTube channel. Thank you for all you, the new subscribers on, on, on this platform. I highly appreciate you guys that have just newly subscribed. May God continue to bless you all as you share the videos and like and leave comment on the videos. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. May God, our God, O many potent, O many present Yahweh, may He reward you all that is supporting this platform. In any way you can support this platform, may God bless you. May God richly bless you all, families and friends. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I highly appreciate you guys that are supporting this platform. In every way you are supporting this platform. The topic of my message, brothers and sisters, is the gratitude. We're talking about gratitude. We need to get God a gratitude. God deserves our gratitude. We need to be thankful to God. In all things, be thankful. Be a good of our families and friends. We are living in the end time. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this platform. I thank you for those that are subscribed. And those that are going to subscribe in the future, I bless you. I leave them up to you, oh God. Thank you for doing what no make it do. Excuse me, families and friends. You can see the volume of this video. Hallelujah. So the volume can be low. I want to bless God for your life, families and friends. Whatever you are, I bring good news to you concerning gratitude. Families and friends, we need to be grateful to God. If you cannot be grateful to God, families and friends, for the fact that He wakes you up every morning. There are people that are in your hospital that need the life that you have, but they cannot get it. They are suffering. They are giving them injection. They are giving them drips. They are eating from their stomach. They have to bow on the on the on the stomach to enter into the intestine to feed them. We need to give God the glory and be thankful for all everything that God has done for you from the day He placed you on the planet Earth. So He sent you to in your mother's womb. She told you for good nice nine months. You have been the aborted through abortion, or you're gonna be going through miscarriage. So many things will happen. But how God has kept you this far. We need to be grateful to God, families and friends. We are living in the end time. So many things are happening. It doesn't mean to say you cannot praise God. God said in a, in a good time or bad time, we should praise Him. Because why? He deserves the glory and the honor. The son said He deserves the glory and the honor. As we lift our hands and worship, as we glorify your name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. And there is no one else like you. Who in the morning can wake you up? There is no one else like you, Lord. For you are great. You do miracles so great. And there is no one else like you. No one can be Yahweh. Because he shared his glory with no man. There is no one like you, Lord. Oh, Father, I want to tell you, thank you for you. you are great. You do miracles so great. I bless you for your people trusting God in our generation on YouTube channel. I live for your people that have subscribed to this channel, Father God. Father God, the top of my message, brothers and sisters, is giving gratitude and be thankful to God in all things. Be a good about. Let us give God the glory for what God is, is doing that eyes of a man have not seen. God is working behind the scenes on your behalf and yourself and your family, brothers and sisters, but you are not seeing him working. Your mind is there focused on the big, big things that you want to happen, but your mind is not focusing on the gift of life for the fact that you are breathing and eating every day. That is a miracle, families and friends. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Father, God, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, oh Father, let us be grateful to you, oh God, every day of our life. Our life that we have is not of ourselves, it's of God. He owns this life. He makes us to be breathing, to take in oxygen and put our carbon dioxide every day. We are not better than those that are not no more, brothers and sisters. We are here because of the grace of God. Father, I want to take thanks for your grace. I bless you for the family of trusting God in our generation on YouTube. I bless you for everyone that has subscribed on this platform. Their family, their loved ones, their job, their health are committed into your hands. Father, we are living in the end time. Help us to cope with our trust in you and believe in you and trust with our heart, mind, body, and soul. And do not lay on our own understanding. Let us lay and put our trust in you, O oh God. And let us always be willing to give you thanks in everything you have done for us. From the day we perform in our mother womb, up to this day you have still been taking care of us, O oh God. We thank you. 
Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for peace. Thank you for wisdom and knowledge. Oh Lord, I tell you, thank you that bless you for the word. I bless you for the body of Christ. I bless you for believers and unbelievers, oh Father. Those that don't believe, oh Father, give Holy Spirit electing their mind and waking them, oh God, in believing the, in the only God of the universe and the only begotten Son of the Most High God, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because Jesus Christ, that was crucified on the cross of Calvary, that went into Galilee to show his to the disciples, to the 11 disciples, that he sent them on a great commission, go ye into the world, preach the gospel of repentance and salvation, baptizing people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and let them receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. I want to bless God for your life. I want to bless God for the word. I bless God for every situation you are going through right now. Give it unto the Lord. He said there's no problem you and I will go through that he will not give us the ability to overcome. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit your people into your head. Whatsoever they face this way, Father, God, you know every one individual problem they are facing this way. I will shortcome our weaknesses, you know all. I lift all your people before you, that God, you bless every home, every heart, oh God, that has subscribed to this platform. Bless every believer in the world who don't even know this platform. Those that are going to subscribe in the future, that lift them up to you, oh God, that they will pass by this video one day and listen to your word, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to tell you, thank you for the life. I'm going to say thank you to God for watching with us. I'm going to say thank you to God because God. Greater is you that live in us and he that is in the world. No weapon for against kings shall prosper. You that live in us is greater than he that live in the world. And so far, we take thank you, O God, for First John 4 4. We take thank you, O God, for Isaiah 54 17. We take thank you for Luke 10 19. That tell all you, God, give us the power to tread upon serpents, scorpions, and serpents, and all every power of the enemies. Even make it also train dead price. He said, It shall by no man hurt us. And we take thank you for your promises over our life. Oh Lord. I bless your name and I honor your name. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for this platform. I'm grateful for your people that have subscribed to this platform. I thank you for the life and your family. I thank you, O oh God, that God, you preserve these people life, O oh God, who trust in you in this time and this season. O oh God, that they are supporting this platform to like and share this video. Father, bless them, O oh God, and I know you're going to bring people that will support this platform in the future. I want to bless your name, O oh God. I give you praise for your word. They will go forth and touch the heart. They will minister to the heart and the souls of those that need to be convicted this evening, this Wednesday evening. Father, I want to say thank you. I bless you to take your glory and have your way. Let only you, let only you have your way in this place. As the Holy Spirit, as I call myself with the blood of Jesus, I cover your home, your family with the blood of Jesus. I seal my life with the Holy Ghost, with the blood of Jesus Christ. I never lose its power. And I wash us, we are washed in the blood of the Lamb. I thank God, thank you for your life and your family. Thank God for doing new things in our life that ears of men have not heard, you know, eyes of men have seen, you know, has entered into the heart of any soul what God has in store for his people. We want to bless God. He's the only one we're going to trust. Our help comes from God, who is above. He's the one we're going to trust. He's the one we're going to serve. Who is he's the one we're going to lean on? He's the one who continue, continue to will continue trusting and hoping and believing. Not our government, not our society, not our family. Father, we take thank you to bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, my soul says, Yes, yes, my soul says, Yes, oh, yes, to your will. Oh, Lord, my soul says, Yes, oh, yes, yes. My soul say yes, yeah, to your will. Father, let our soul say yes to your will, O God, not the will of the enemy. He is like a rolling lion seeking who he may devour. You say, would you be vigilant and sober in First Peter 5, 8. Help us, O God, to be vigilant and sober in his last days. That will not be deceived by the scheme and scam of the enemy, O God. And wake us up, those are sleeping, O God. And wake them, O God, to have the eye opening of repentance and salvation for the kingdom of God is at hand. I thank you, Lord God. I bless you as Peter and John was preaching and said, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. That you shall be saved. Ask the sin to the one. Say, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You and your household, families, and friends. Jesus Christ has paid all on the cross for you and I. We only need to believe and we live our life in holiness. Oh Lord, help us, Jesus. Let us seek the face of God in holiness, in righteousness. In committing our life, mind, body, and soul, and to not lay on our own understanding. Let us give God the glory and the honor that He deserves every day of our life. We wake up in the morning, 
just be thankful father thank you for today i thank you for your miracle i thank you for breakthrough i thank you, thank you for healing i thank you for destiny help us you're going to send my way i thank you for favor all my life today oh lord god we thank you thank you father i'm grateful i'm grateful for all you have done for me from the day i was born up to this time my family my children grandchildren and my friends family and relatives and my brothers and sisters the body of christ this precious saints of god on this platform that has subscribed father bless and guide each and every soul that believe in you oh jesus let it not be weary in the fit let it, let the fit be strong in you christ jesus hallelujah Bless every soul now, oh Father. This is our prayer because your words say what two or three are gathered, you are in the midst. So I want to bless God for your life. I want to bless God for the word that is coming. That you'll be the hero of the word of God in the two and I'm in the hero. Brothers and sisters, may God bless you as the word is coming. On top of my message, I told you it is entitled gratitude, giving gratitude to God and be thankful in to God in all things. We need to be thankful to God in all things, brothers and sisters. Be a good or bad, we need to be thankful. I'll get give you a few scripture quickly that concerning gratitude. I'll read for you the book of Romans chapter 12. I'll read for you Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 quickly. First one. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah, families, families, and friends, brothers and sisters. I'll read for you Roman twelve. Responsibility towards God. You and I have a responsibility to fulfill in the kingdom of God. Don't you know that? You are not here by mistake, family, and friends. You are not on the platform by mistake. You are here because God wants you to be here. God wants you to be a subscriber to this platform. God wants you to be a supporter of this platform. You are not here by mistake, family, and friends. Hallelujah. He said, I beseech you, brethren. Apostle Paul is speaking to the church. He's telling us our responsibility. He said, by the mercy of God, be ye present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Which is your reasonable service. He is warning us to give our body. This is this one of the act of worship. Giving your body unto God. Which is holy and acceptable to him. He beseeching the brethren. By the mercy of God. That you and I present our bodies. Apostle Paul is not here anymore. But his servant. The servant of God. The see here came on the message. That you and I need to present our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the services of God, brothers and sisters, which is his reasonable service unto God. This is why we need to be thankful and grateful for the gift of life, everything that we are alive to see, because our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit dwells into this body, brothers and sisters. So we don't need to quench the Spirit of God. That live in this body. We need to be thankful for the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ promised to send us the comforter, the eyepiece of God, the all knowing, all is all seeing. They will teach us of all teachers. He had to teach us everything that we need to know. Then he telling you and our brothers and sisters, you and I have to take the responsibility to give our body as a living sacrifice in giving thanks. And praises to God. Because God deserves our praises. As giving your body as a sacrifice. It's an act of worship unto God. It's the act of it's the act of gratefulness. That you are grateful to God for the love he has given you. And the grace he has given you to be alive in this world. And the blessing he has given to you. To be alive is a blessing. It's a testimony. It's a miracle to be counted among living. In this psalm and this season we find ourselves in. In a wicked or sinful world. In a perilous time we are living in. You need to be grateful to God. For every day that comes and pass by, thank you, thank you for your life. Thank you, thank you, families and friends, for your life. I'm going to read for you Revelation chapter 11 for 17. Next scripture. Hallelujah. 
Revelation 11, chapter 17. Saying, we give thanks. We give, we give thee thanks. Oh, oh, Lord God Almighty. Join me as we give you thanks this evening. We give you thanks. Thanks. Thanks to you, Lord. We give you thanks. Oh, pray you deserve it. I gave you thanks on this platform. Thanks to your people. They are giving you all the thanks. We come to give you thanks. Oh, thanks. You deserve it. Hallelujah. He deserves the thanks and the praise. I'm going to read some what he said. Saying, we gave the thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which are and was and are to come. Who is the one that was and is to come? Jesus Christ is God in the flesh of him. He is the one that will hear, brothers and sisters, the one which are, who was and are to come. Because thou has taken to thee that great power and has reigned oh lord he has he has the power he took the key from bit of hell from satan he said power is given unto me both in heaven and on earth oh lord thank you jesus that that power you and i jesus Christ has given us today brothers and sisters you are not just in a common person you carry power and authority that god has given to you and i you need to exercise that power and that authority in this world in this end time to pray and seek the face of god and pray for your neighbors pray for your community pray one person come person pray in the community the whole community will be safe from war or demons and warlocks pray without ceasing do not give up in prayer for be prayer families and friends and it is say and the nation were angry and the wrath is come and the time of the dead that shall be judged and that 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 should give to wars unto the seven the prophet and to the saints and them that fear that name he will get our reward to those that fear him in this time for the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom do we fear god in our days so many people does not fear god they insult God, they tear the Bible, they, 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 they kick the Bible as a football, they rip the Bible, they curse, they do all the other things they want to do. Let them just go ahead and do what they are doing. God is the judge. He is the vengeful. He's going to repay. We don't, have, we don't need to fight for anything. Fight only after your salvation. Because he said, you and I will be persecuted for his name. Say, that is the persecution we are going through right now. In farming and precedent and tribulation. There is the prosecution time we are in that they deny you from certain certain things you don't you need to do. They say you cannot do it. That is prosecution. So he is the one that coming to bring what to come to bring his reward to give it to the saints, the prophets, and to those that have feared his name. Are you going to fear the name of the Lord? Brother, we need to fear this God. He is consuming fire. The fire he sent in Sodom and Gomorrah. He's gonna do it again. This time he's sending fire into this world. They probably will be burned down like a brown stone, brothers and sisters, like a volcano. And the whole earth will roll like a scrub. If you don't fear this God, family, as a friend, don't fear anything. I fear this God, brothers and sisters. I fear this God. Oh, yes. Father, have your way, oh God. And all that that fear Him, that fear the name of the Lord, be as small and great, and that shall destroy them which destroy the earth. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. And the temple of God was open to heaven, and there was seen in his temple the act of the testimony. And there were lightning and voices and thundering and earthquake and great hall. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. The time will come, brothers and sisters, for that thing, for those things that will occur in this world. There will be three days of darkness. There will be the second exodus. There will be the rapture before the sixth sea. Open, families and friends. The sixth sea just will not just open. Because there are some prophecies that are yet to come to pass. The three days of darkness. The second exodus where the woman in Revelation 12. God prepared a place for her in the wilderness. That woman represented the church. For 1,360 days. 
Revelation 12, if you read it, brothers and sisters, tell me. This thing has to come to pass. This prophecy must come to pass. Most of the prophecy has come to pass. Timothy, Isaiah, Jeremiah, the prophecies, Hosanna, 